Let's review how to calculate the sample average or mean and sample standard deviation of a sample of data using Excel. If we start with a group of numbers, a set of 10 observations or samples, and the values are 0 0.9, 3.7, 2.1, 3.9, 4.7, 5.9, 3.5, 4.1, 2.9, and 1.8. To calculate the average of those numbers, we could add them up and divide by 10. Or in Excel, we could calculate the average by starting with an equal sign to indicate that it's a formula, and then type average, open parentheses, and then select the range. You can do this by left clicking and dragging the mouse and then closing the parentheses, double checking that we have the, the proper range, A1 through A10. And when we hit equal, there it is. The average of that data, the mean, is 3.35. If we want to calculate the standard deviation, we can simply start with a, an equal sign and type STDEV. That's the formula for standard deviation of a sample. Open parentheses and select the same range close parenthesis. There we go. So these 10 observations have an average of 3.35 and a standard deviation of 1.47. We can also calculate these descriptive statistics using the data analysis toolkit. So if we go to data, data analysis, and from the list of tools select descriptive statistics, uh, descriptive statistics, and then click OK. We can then select the input range, which is A1 through A10, and then select that we want the output to be put into a new worksheet ply and say OK. And it's now created an, a new set, a new tab, and an, the data in here, the results of that calculation. The mean is 3.35, and the standard deviation is 1.47. This also gives us a lot of other information the median, for example, and the range, the minimum and maximum values, uh, the sum and the count. Lots of descriptive information about that set of data. We can also take a look at the shape of that data using the histogram tool in the Data Analysis Toolkit. So if we go Data, Data Analysis, but we're going to need to create a histogram, we need to decide what buckets we want to look at. So let's use the bins of one two, three, four, five, six. And we'll create that first anywhere. And we go to data, data analysis, histogram, OK. And then we select the input range as A1 through 10. And the bin range tells it where to look for our bucket boundaries, our bins. And we want to create a new worksheet ply, and we would like to chart the output. So we'll select chart output and click OK. And that gives us a way to look at the shape of the distribution. You can kind of see where the central tendency and the spread of the distribution using a histogram. So this combination of tools, the histogram tool and the descriptive statistics from the data analysis toolkit, or you can simply calculate those using the Excel functions of average and standard deviation. And they'll give you a lot of information about your sample data.